All right, this is going to be a video of this 42-inch Heritage brand ceiling fan I got at the Habitat Restore. I got it because I volunteer there, and what I do for them is refurbish ceiling fans, they receive a donation, and make them more sellable than how they originally came in. Anyways, I don't know uh, what the model of this one is. However, I know for a fact that it was trying to imitate the uh, Canarm brand Paragon, because it looks pretty much exactly the same. Uh, I actually do have a video of the uh, real Canarm Paragon, by the way, if anyone wants to see a video, that can be found in the description below. I'll be a link. Anyway, I'm going to demonstrate this one for you. Start to like it. See that works. And I'm using 340 watt equivalent. And there's the compact fluorescence in there. They're not the best balls of this application, I know, but I didn't have any reflector compact fluorescence, so these will have to work for now. It's just temporary testing anyway. Anyway, turn that off. I'm now going to turn the fan on and start with the high speed. And I'll show that from the bottom. I did put a black piece of tape on one of the blade bracks just to indicate RPM. And once this fully speeds up, it's probably going to go somewhere around maybe 150. It's kind of slowish because I suspect the capacitor is a bit weak in there. Either that or the bearings are slowing it down because they're not the best. It does push a fairly decent amount of air though because I pitched the blades more than how they originally were pitched. So yeah, I can cool a mid-sized room with no problem, I guess. Despite it being kind of slow. It is actually pretty quiet. It doesn't really hum a lot. Which is nice. Alright, I'm going to turn it to medium now. This is probably going to go somewhere around maybe 115 RPM. Maybe 120 at the most. And finally, for low, I'll show you the lights on here. And this probably goes somewhere around maybe 45 RPM. It's uh, actually quite slow indeed. And I'll turn that off. And now I'm going to uh, talk about some general information on this. Um, it did actually originally come with the white side of the blades facing down. Uh, however, I decided to uh, flip them to this bleached oak. I generally don't like bleached oak on white and polished brass fans, but I just decided to try it on this one. And it actually turned out really good, uh, I think because of the glossiness of it. Uh, I think it actually um, looks quite nice. Anyway. I'm going to talk about the features now. Speaking of blades, uh, like I said, they are reversible from uh, white to bleached oak. Um, and uh, I like the bleached oak on this one the best, personally. It also has a uh, three spotlight kit, which is removable if you have just a blank switch cap. I don't know if that would have been included from factory, but it looks like you probably could have installed it without it just fine. Also, it can be down rod or flush mount for different ceiling heights. I'm using it with the flush mount setup, because that's what uh, it originally had. Uh, although, adding a down rod probably wouldn't be too hard. For higher ceilings. Um, I now I'm going to talk about pros and cons. I really like the fact that the fan has a kind of a contemporary look going on to it, although it's not very original because they kind of stole it from Canarm. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same as theirs. Uh, it does look quite nice. And also another thing I like is the fact that the spotlights are adjustable. Uh, if you just kind of undo this, you can uh, point them whatever direction you want. And finally, uh, I really like the uh, low profile design with the flush mounting. Uh, this actually looks really good as a flush mount, surprisingly. I didn't think it was going to look uh, uh, this great, but it uh, actually turned out uh, looking pretty good. Overall, I probably have to give it 3 out of 5 stars. It is uh, really a piece of crap. Uh, low quality parts, low quality everything. Uh, but in terms of looks and performance, it's actually not half bad, other than the capacitor being slightly weak. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you could tell me what uh, exact model this was, actually uh, was called, that would be much appreciated.